Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Kanu sir and I am a teacher Pond Kanu and I have come with the next question related source so without wasting the time and the introduction will keep running around the solution so let's start the question so here is the question that is asked about the square root of the given terms so simply if we would have given any number like 16 then we could have get the square root very easily here we are asked to find the square root of a whole term it means 7 minus 4 root 3 and the square root of this whole term. How can we do it? Let's check. Minus 4. First let's break 4. 4 can be broken into 2 times 2. 4 can also be broken into 4 times 1 in the terms of product form can be expanded in a for product form as 2 times 2 and 4 times 1 and what the value we have got is 4 root 3 so we have no idea about 7 it's ok minus for 4 you can check here in a formula we are actually trying to make of a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square and in the formula of a minus b whole square there is a square minus 2ab plus b square and in the formula of a plus b whole square we have got a square plus 2ab plus b square let's come back again here so we are going to break this 4 root 3 in the terms of minus 2ab so 4 can be broken as 2 and again 2 times 2 will get 4 and root 3 here so we have got some idea about a and b this 2 looks like A and 3 looks like S, B and let's break 7 then. How can we break 7 in the addition and subtraction form? We can break 7 as 4 plus 3. We can also break 7 as 5 plus 2. But 4 plus 3 will be matching because the square of 2 is 4 and the square of root 3 will get 3. Then you have to break 7 as 4 plus 3 minus 2 times 2 times 3 root 3. So now 4 can be changed to 2 square minus 2 into 2 and root 3. And 3 can be changed to root 3 whole square. If you have confusion about root 3 whole square then you can check the square of root 3. You can change as root 3 into root 3. You will get 3. Or still if you are confused, then 3 into 3, then we will get 3 square, that is 3. And hence now, we can bring this term out of the root like a square minus 2ab plus b square. So 2 minus root 3 whole square, square and root will be cancelled, then we will get 2 minus root 3 as the square root of 7 minus 4 root 3 is 2 minus root 3. Now let's go to the next question and here in the next question you have got some idea on how to solve this. Now first we write a question that is square root of 3 minus 2 root 2. Then you can check whether how to break these terms. Here you can write first let us not break 3. You can write this 2 root 2 in the terms of minus 2ab. Then 2 is given here as it is. a can be considered as root 2. But just by writing 2 and a, we got the value of 2 root 2. Then we can assume multiplied 1 as b because multiplying by 1 will not affect the value of 2 root 2 here. And also we can get an idea now. Square of 2 will get 2, root 2 will get 2 and 1. 2 plus 1 will get 3. So 3 can be broken as 2 plus 1 minus 2 root 2 into 1. So now 2 can be written as root 2 whole square minus 2 root 2 into 1 plus 1 whole square. Now they look like a minus b whole square formula. Root 2 minus 1 whole square and square and root will be cancelled and finally the answer is root 2 minus root 1. So this way we can find the square root of the term containing irrational number itself and normally we have done square root of simple numbers but now we can do the square root of these type of numbers as well. So if you have some other questions related to these questions then don't worry and feel free to put your questions in the comment section below. 
and also practice these questions at your home twice twice so that you will be perfect in solving this type of questions and till then keep practicing keep learning and also don't forget to like share and subscribe this video bye